Hey everybody, um, it is Monday, um, so I'm hoping I'm keeping on track. Um, this is video update 54. Um, it is March, or no, April 22nd, or 21st, 2014. God, can you tell it's been a long day already? It's been a Monday, um, getting tongue-tied and everything. And I'm going to go through the whole beginning video spiel so that way I can get all you first time newer comers uh, out of the way. Um, if this is your first time getting on the video or getting on any of my videos, please do not start in at this point. If you're looking for information on the Garcinia, I suggest you go back to my very starting video. Um, the one that is actually labeled where I got my Garcinia. Then you'll see update one and two and three, and they're labeled, you know, in um, number order from that point on. Those are where you're going to get most of your trial and error um, information. If you're looking for like what to look for, what to buy, things like that, go to the video. that are all on my channel, um, Stephanie Smuts 913 on uh, YouTube. But they're all on there, and if you go to how to take Gar or how I take my Garcinia, there's a lot of information in there for you that are just starting out. Um, because I have already been on it a year, so I've had a lot of ups and downs, and this and that, and this might not be the exact point for you to jump in to try to follow me. Um, now, have I said that if you're going to be stubborn and still want to follow on this video? Right up here, you'll see a caption that tells you when you're just starting out how you should take the Garcinia. And that does not, how you see it up here is how you should take it no matter what brand you buy. Do not follow your bottle's instructions. I'm not going to even go into why, but this is how you should take it. This is how Dr. Oz had did the testimonial on several different people um, on a month's study. So that's how you should take it. No matter what brand you buy, this is how you should take it. Now, if you um, are interested in a brand that has the um, Chrome in it, you'll see right here, There's it says to click on a link. Underneath the video is a link. Now, this is not the brand that I take because I do not take the Chrome. The brand underneath, which is the Miracle Garcinia, is a safe and trusted site. It is not a trial form. It's not going to take your card number and jack you with all these fees. It's a trusted site. Um, it has the Garcinia in it. It has the calcium, the potassium, and the chrome. So if that's something you're interested in, there's a safe site that's trusted right down below. And it's a brand I know several people that are taking it that they are getting results from. So it's a brand that works. Um, so if you want that, you can underneath the video here again, you'll see three links. The first link is the Miracle Garcinia, which like I said, there's several people I know that have been using it and that get awesome results from it and it's a safe site to order from. The second link under there is my Garcinia, um, Garcinia page on Facebook. Third link is my actual Facebook page. So if you want to follow me there and you know become friends there and actually talk to me and chat with me there on Facebook, those are the three links. They're under the video. Set it over and done with. Hopefully, some of the questions have been narrowing down. There, I, I still get how much weight have you lost overall? You know, how do you take it? What brand? Why is the brand different from the brand you saw in the picture to the brand that's under the link? I say it in the video. I say it over and over and over and over again, and I'm just not going to keep repeating it. So I'm doing my little start off clip, and then. We're moving on. So now, <laughs> now that that's being said, um, we'll get right into the results. This week, um, <laughs> I have not been as good as I should have been as far as faithfully taking it. Um, I have pretty much taken it every day, but I have been bad about taking it three times a day um, or taking the full... Um, because the one day we were out in the car and I, I only had like a half of, um, I only had so many in the bottle in the car with us. So I thought, well, well we're going to be out all day. I'll take one now and then I'll take one when we go out to, um, to dinner because I knew we were going to be out all day. So I took two in the morning, but when we were in the car, I only had two left in the bottle. So I took one for lunch and I took one for dinner. So I mean, things like that. I haven't been consistent with um, 
what I normally take. So with that being said, um, not being faithful like I should have been, and I have been pretty active since the weather's been breaking. I've been in the backyard, um, and good thing, um, got rid of the wood pile and no fire ant uh, pollens or mounds or nests. Not that the only one the only thing that I tackled was the wood pile we got all the wood out of the backyard so from the trees that we cut down a couple years ago so thank god that's over with but um I still have where uh the old the siding scraps from me putting the siding on the house I still haven't gotten rid of the scrap pieces that I've gotten that I've used because I still have to finish the front part of the house I mean I got to put up the, the fascia and the soffits and then put up the gutters and once that's done then the J channel can go up and when I'm done with that then all my siding will be done so I actually have two piles of siding good siding and the scrap siding so once the house is completely done then I'll get rid of my scrap as well and I got a funny feeling when I get into those piles I might see ants there but I bought good spray and um, when I went in now I went ahead and I I like totally just doused the crap out of it with the spray so hopefully knocking on wood um, I was good I didn't get I haven't noticed any bites and I've been out there the last three or four days lifting wood moving stuff around so I've been very lucky and I'm glad so that's that's a good thing um, so getting into the results considering that I haven't been as faithful as I should have been taking it and I have been active it's been a little bit of a mixed mixed week um, like my um, my weight stayed the same go figure I'm still at uh, I'm still at 216 so my weight didn't go up it didn't go down um, my arms they actually went up a half inch on each side and that's probably from lifting all them logs and that because you know the Garcinia helps you lose or helps you uh, gain muscle mass um, then my chest still stayed the same it's 46 and a half uh, then my waist actually went down um, a half an inch so I'm at 43 and a half there hips stayed the same at 52 and then my thighs still stay the same 26 and 25 so um, with the inch I gained on my arms and a half an inch that I lost off my waist overall for the week I only lost half a pound or um, half a pound geez half an inch so not good but not bad either you know it's, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it um, so but I did order my Trust and Nutrition um, Garcinia and I've had a couple of you tell me that you went ahead and ordered it and um, oh god excuse me my hair is really bugging me sorry about that um, it's, I need a trim and it's all in my eyes so sorry about that um, but a couple of you had said that you had um, you had went ahead and ordered it and that one girl was telling me she wasn't getting results from it um, another girl said she really liked it and so I was asking them well what what brands they're like well the same brand you showed last week well that's all fine and dandy but I also said last week that the TN I call it the TN brand the trusted nutrition brand um, the all their they have multiple formulas and I said this last week as well you know they have one that has the Garcinia it has calcium it has potassium that's it in one they have another one that has the Garcinia the calcium the potassium and the chrome they have another one that has um, um, Garcinia the calcium potassium and like gluten or uh, the gelatin and something else in it um, but the one that I am going to buy and have oh excuse me and have actually purchased I just purchased it just before I made just before just now um, just has the Garcinia and the potassium in it um, because I've ha I've heard so many people flip-flopping about the Garcinia working well and Dr. Oz when this first started now I'm talking you know a year ago and actually the Garcinia was out six months prior to me um, do, starting my testimonial about how he they suggested that it be taken and purchased with the, Gar the Garcinia along with the calcium and potassium because those are ingredients that actually activate and help the Garcinia help you. Now, 
a year later, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. All kinds of companies are pumping out different kinds of shit brands and everything else. And, you know, Walmart's got in. Got, they've got quite a few different brands. Um, who was the other one? Uh, Xantrex has now got it in, in, uh, in it with uh, the green coffee bean extract in, in the same thing. Um, there's another one that they got out called the Super Max Slim Pill that has like six different ingredients in them that are supposedly supposed to be the best weight loss thing out there. Um, and what I've been told by quite a few different doctors, doctors directly, that when you take two diet supplement substances, they can react with one another to deaden each one. So to me, for a company to say, well, oh yeah, we put green coffee bean and we put Garcinia and we put, uh, what was it, Slim Fast and what was that, what the hell is the... There was two other ones I heard on the radio, and I was just like, wow, are you kidding me? You've got to be shitting me. Anyway, they just throw all this shit in there because the us, they think we're gullible, which a lot of us are. I mean, I'm one of them, um, that we buy into it. It's like, oh, well, it's the best pill. I got to get it, and it's such a great deal. Buy two, get one free. Um, usually when they do, usually, not saying always, but usually when a company does that, you're paying for that third bottle anyway. They jack up the price on the first two, so you pay for the third bottle and you're only actually getting like maybe a $5 difference. They, they do the same shit at 4th of July. You see everywhere, buy six, get, you know, or buy one, get six free. Well, usually it's bottle rockets when you get in there. They don't tell you the, you know, little fine print in the gold, you know, little asterisks around them. But, um... For like the big fireworks, like the cakes and whatnot, they'll do the same thing. Buy two, get one free. But if you look at it, like if like we around here where I live, we go to Shelton. Shelton sells stuff. Um, what do they call it? Um, God, I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, <laughs> I can't think of it. Anyway, um, wholesale. Uh, at wholesale price. So like a cake... For me, I mean, even a big size cake at Shelton's, I could pay like 20 bucks for and I see the exact same goddamn cake at like Crazy Kaplan's for like 85 bucks. And I'm like, what? But this is, this is the, you know, the m manipulation that they play with us on the trickery of words to think we're getting a good deal. Um. So you really got, it's buyer beware. Buyer beware is so big. Um, you really got to know the product that you're going after and do your research. And a lot of, let's face it, a lot of us nowadays don't because we're too damn lazy. We just want everything handed to us. We want to believe what people tell us because we want to believe that people are honest. And they're not. You know, it's not like we're back in the 80s or even the 70s when people thought that their name meant something and that they held up to their name. Um, you know, they weren't fly by night companies and nowadays that's all we have. It's like, we have so many companies out there that the minute something goes wrong with that company, they either sell it out or they change the name acting like they were sold out. So that way all that bad jubilee that went with it is now gone with that company and now they're with a new one. So you think, oh, well, it's not that same product. Yes, it is. They just bamboozled you. Um, and me. So needless to say, you still buyer, buyer beware either way you go. Um, so it's like when you see that buy one, get one free, I always try to think, well, have I seen it somewhere else? What is it? You know, just like when I go like to Sam's Clubs or when I go to Costco, you know, they have everything there is in bulk. So it's like my husband's like, oh, look, 40 waffles for $9.99. And I'm thinking, okay, well, 40 waffles. And if I go to the regular grocery store and I can get it on sale for, you know, I started doing the math. And I'm like, that's not really a deal. you know. Now, don't get me wrong. There are sometimes really good deals. And it's usually the bigger items, um, like the meat um, that you get better prices on. Every now and then you'll get a good sale, um, like on five packages of ketchup, you know, like the big bottles of ketchup for like $6.99 or something like that. Um, but usually they're like packets of three and you could get one bottle for a dollar or something. So you're paying a little bit actually more at, you know, um, Sam's Club and Costco than what you would have paid at the grocery store at regular dollar price. So it's, you know, just buyer beware either way you go. But so considering the, you know, what Dr. Oz had told us way back when this all first started to come out about the calcium, that it, this was an, a needed ingredient, um, 
now that so many people have started, you know, because people get on there, they write these websites and they write all these blogs. They say that they're doctors and all of it is a bunch of bullshit. Um, but because somebody read it on a website somewhere that said it's supposedly listed to MDV, blah, 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 and all this bullshit, they think that it's hard, cold facts. And I just, I'm, I'm, uh. I'm a, I'm a skeptical to like 90% of the shit that I read on the internet. Just because it's on the internet does not mean it's real. Just because it's hooked to a link that says it's with a bunch of uh, doctors and whatnot. And that their licenses are... It, that it could be somebody just making up the whole fake fucking site. Just somebody who thinks they're a doctor and just loves to talk to people about stuff. So you can't really always trust that. Um, I usually go and ask my doctor, like, cause my daughter's a big one. She loves to Google shit. Whenever she has a symptom, she Googles it. Mom, I think I'm dying. No, you're not freaking dying, you know? <laughs> so, um, then we just recently went to the doctor and she's like, well, it's in the, it's in my kidneys and isn't it? Cause it doesn't hurt on my back and my, <laughs> oh my God. I was just like, you know, I'm not going to even say her name on, on, because just in case, in case she's watching, although she, she might appreciate me giving her a shout out, but I know she, but then again, she might get mad, so I'm not going to say her name. But anyway, she goes, okay, Miss Google. She goes, stop Googling. She goes, because these are the only trusted sites that are on anything that, that I would recommend you to take any information from. And she gave her a list. So then, so now Monica, whenever she thinks of something, she always goes back to those sites that the doctor uh, gave her. But that's her new nickname at the, at, when we go into the doctor's office. So she's Miss Google. <laughs> She's always Googling something. And 90% of the time, the doctor looks at her like, no, you're not dying. It's not in your kidneys. It's <laughs> it was just funny because I'm just laughing. I'm like, hey, this is all her, not me. I've got enough. <laughs> anyway, um, so you can't always believe what you see on the internet, even if it does look like it's a legit page. And it looks, I mean, people can drum up fake sites in a matter of minutes. I mean minutes, like five minutes, have a whole site ready up and running and have all kinds of links attached to it with all kinds of information. It's just click, paste, click, paste, find a domain name, main, and put it out, and there you go. You're ready to all set. And so, yeah, I, I, you know, you really got to do your research if you're, you know, and a lot of us don't. I mean, we'll be, I'll be honest, I, I don't research everything. I'm just as gullible. I read something, I'm like, oh, yeah, it sounds good. And then I buy it, then I learn, I learn from experience. So, this. It's full of shit. Like just the other day, we were making French fries, and my my husband wanted to make homemade French fries. He's like, get out! And we we bought it at Cabela's, and it's a stainless steel um, French fry maker. You put the potato in it, and then you just slam the thing down, and poof, out comes these French fries. Um, the first time we bought it, or the first time we used it, it worked okay. Second time, two blades fell out of it. The third time, you couldn't even get the potatoes through it. So. We had bought another one that was on, t you know, as seen on TV, works perfect, blah, 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 this, that. We bought it, and we were on for like a month. We looked for this thing, um, and he finally found it at, at, at the store in the mall, um, as seen on TV, and he's like, oh, look, that had it. we got to get it. So we got it, brought it home. It was a piece of shit, a waste of 20 goddamn dollars. I'm like, see, you need to quit watching those as seen on TVs because they're all for shit. They just don't work. <laughs> so, by the way, we fall to the gimmicks too. Um, so it's just funny. Anyway, so like I said, now with all the new brands coming out and all the different, um, you know, testimonials out there and all this stuff and people saying, oh, it works so much better without the, the um, calcium because the calcium is actually blocking the Garcinia from absorbing. Then you hear like uh, the same amount of people saying, well, the calcium is what actually helps it absorb. So now for me personally, I do not think that the calcium actually blocks the Garcinia because I've been on it for a year and I have seen results. Now I know a lot of you that are just now turning in and have been giving me, you know, we've been kind of getting in arguments back and forth on Facebook um, in messages that you were arguing that I'm not losing a lot of weight. You're right. It's not. But in the very beginning when I started this, I did it exactly how Dr. Oz said. I did not change my diet and I did not exercise. And I wanted to stay true to that. So that's what I was doing. Um, I still have. Now, considering that an average person, especially a woman of my age and of my weight, not changing my diet and not exercising and like just now being laid off and not working and literally sitting being a couch potato for the last over six months um i would have been gaining 
And I'm not talking just gaining. I'm talking gaining. Okay. I probably would have been like two more sizes of me. Um, but I have it. While I've been on the Garcinia, I have been losing. And I was consistently losing inches. And I'm not talking like five inches at a week or, you know, five pounds at a week. No. But I was always in losing. And the one thing that I talked to my doctor about, you know, because I had I'd asked her before I bumped up to the 3,000, you know, if it was okay for me, that she said, well, you know, if you lose like an average of a couple inches or just even a pound a week, that is awesome. That's the way your body is going to maintain because you're not shocking it. Anytime you shock your body and with any kind of changes that you do, the minute you stop those changes, your body is going to rebel. Even once you continue them, your body is going to plateau and it's going to get used to the shock of what you've been doing to it and it's going to level out and it's going to adjust to it. She says, so it's good to do the consistent low because then it lets your body reform and lets your skin, uh, I want to make sure I say this right, elasticity bounces back because I've got quite a few of you saying, well, how come your skin's not sagging? How come your, your, your face isn't drooping? How come you don't have three chins under you right now? Because it is a slow process. I'm not, it's not like I went through gastric bypass and I had my stomach stapled down from this size to this size and I lost a hundred pounds in a matter of six months. I don't have all that major weight just dropping to where my skin is just sagging. It's toning as it's losing. And I'm not even doing anything to actually tone it. It's just doing its natural form of gravity, pulling everything back into place. So that's a good thing. Um, so overall, I'm happy with the results. Now, considering that I have been on an arsenium that has the calcium in it for that long and still got results, I can't honestly say that I'm a believer of that, you know, the skeptics that are out there saying that the calcium is blocking. But considering that the um, Dynamics has switched their brand or sold out, whatever the hell they freaking did, it, it just pisses me off because I was really happy with their product before their change. Um, like anything else in the world, you get used to something, you like it, and then they go and fucking change it for whatever reason. Um, I have to switch because I'm not going to put all the shit that they got in the new labeled of dynamics in my body. I have the shit I'm not I can't I can't even fathom how to explain it or to pronounce it, so I'm not gonna put it in my freaking body. So I'm switching. So the brand that I'm switching to, I'm going to do just Garcinia and the potassium. I'm gonna give that a trial run and see how my results with it with not changing my diet and not exercising will give me on a weekly base without the calcium and see how it works. And if it's getting the same, then we could say that the calcium doesn't matter. If I'm getting better results, then we could say that the calcium probably does block it, which I really can't see how that could be because why was I losing all along? It'd be a mystery. Either way, I'm going to, I'm going to be a guinea pig and try it anyway. Why not? Right? I got to switch anyway. Um, so that's just me personally and then uh but i've got a couple now that have bought um the same brand that i because i asked them well what is it that you bought and they told me that it just has the garcinia and the potassium in it so um one of my friends just recently i think she just got hers the other day so when she gets home she's going to be trying it or you know starting her regimen um because she was away on vacation and i got another girl who just ordered so she's waiting in on and i got a couple so there's a few of them out there that so i'm waiting on feedback from them as well so we'll see how this all pans out. Um, so now with everything that was going on and as long as I've been off of work, um, really getting depressed over it, even with being on the Garcinia, there's just some things that even a pill can't help pull you out of um, that mode. And not working is a huge factor for me because I've always worked. The only time I was home and not working is when my husband didn't want me to work because he wanted me home taking care of the kids. Well, the kids are old. They're, you know, they're they're taking care of themselves. I don't need to be home. Um, and since it's been so long since I've actually been home, and me now having to be home, not willingly, but to have to be home because I have nowhere else to go, is driving me so crazy. But lo and behold, after all this time, um, I actually have two interviews tomorrow. So hopefully, I have got to get to bed early. I have still got to dye my hair because Mama's got to. Yeah, we got. Headband, see, you don't know if you can see the color. Yeah, gray is showing through, all that damn stress. And um, 
the roots are showing some we gotta we gotta dye our hair you know i gotta i gotta i went and got um the eyebrows waxed when got my fingernails done so i i went and splurged a little bit um just to try to make myself presentable tomorrow so hopefully crossing the fingers this is gonna be disgusting crossing the toes uh, crossing the legs crossing the arms i'm gonna be braiding my hair crosswise so i'll be crossing Stretch the tubies out, flip them in a knot, tie them in, put them back in the bra, whatever works. I'm going to be tying everything twice as possibly can to hopefully have um, good results with it, at least one of the interviews. <laughs> but considering as many resumes that I've been pumping out and as many applications that I have been putting in, just the sign alone that I've gotten two applications or uh, two um, interviews back to back like this it's a good sign for me so I don't know if it's just the weather is breaking and now companies are maybe getting off their winter freeze mode where they're hiring and if it's just seasonal I don't know I don't really care I just want to get the hell out of the house because I'm getting slap happy so um, all in all tomorrow is going to be a really busy day um, because I have the two interviews um, and then I also have I go back to the doctor for my breathing um, I was really hoping she would tell me I had pollens in my um, sinus cavities because I can't breathe. My breathing has been really restricted. Um, and when I went in a week and a half ago, she said she saw no polyps built up there. So it was like, shit. I was hoping she would say, okay, let's schedule you for surgery because the minute I have surgery, it's like I'm 16 again. It's like I can breathe that much better from sinus surgery. It's like night and day. I can't even, if anybody out there, if, you, if your doctor has told you about sinus surgery, do it 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 it is well worth it um i can't even explain to you the minute all that caulking and gauze crap comes out of your nose which is one of the downfalls of the surgery because when you come out you're bleeding and all that but they they put caulking up your or not caulking but um cotton and all that as caulking <laughs> to stop the blood once all that comes out and you're recovering, and recovery time is only like two um, two days. I mean, you look pretty rough the first two days, the first time you have the surgery, um, but it's well worth it. I mean, it, it is like night and day from, and if you're one that is having a hard time with your sinuses, definitely de don't be afraid to do it. It's a very simple procedure. Um, and the, the soreness of it is, it's not really even a sore surgery to recover from. You know, um, like the first time I had it done, my eyes were swollen um, the first day. Um, so I just kept ice packs and heat packs, ice packs. To, and then the second day they were fine, although I had bruising. And then the third day I was fine. Um, second time I had it, it was like the next day I could have gone right back to work. I mean, it was a weekend, but I could have gone right back to work. It was that, just like that instant. So it's just crazy. So I was really hoping she was going to sign me up, be like, oh, yeah, we got pollen. So uh, Monday good for you? Be like, mm, I'm there. What time? Seven? <laughs> I would have been right on the bandwagon, but she said she didn't see no 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 signs of pollens. It was just, uh, or not pollens, uh, polyps, but she said there was a lot of um, mucus and um, my sinus cavities were really swollen. So for the last 10 days, she's had me on antibiotics and some deflammatory. And so now I have to go back to her tomorrow. My antibiotics are over with and um, I'm still on the deflammatories, but um, uh, the, the antibiotics are done. So I'm hoping because my breathing has not lifted um, like I'm hoping it would have. So I'm hoping when I go back, maybe the stuff she saw cleared up and she'll see pollens and be like, yeah, we still got to sign you up for surgery. So she can go in and do her little roto-rooting job up there, clean me all out, and I could be good. Um, it would be my third time having the surgery, and each time I've had it, it's been a longer duration. So I don't want you guys to think that if you get it, that you got to keep getting it. Um, the only time you would have to keep getting the surgery, if whatever it is that's triggering your sinuses to get blocked, that you're constantly around um like if you're a smoker and it's smoking that's doing it then obviously you're gonna have you're just gonna have to constantly go in to get your pipes cleared out with a roto rooter um because you can you consistently continue to smoke um me it was the mold in the house that um i slowly have taken care of all the mold in the house so now that i've eliminated all that i shouldn't have that problem anymore so hopefully once I clear this up, whatever it is that's going on, I should be good and golden because I have not been sick at all um, 
this winter like sick sick it's just been my sinuses have been kicking my ass so I go back to her and then of course I'm bowling tomorrow night so tomorrow's gonna be a really really long hectic day but um hopefully all in all by next video I will have good information and be back to work because then maybe by me being active again I, I know that'll be more results as well because just sitting here I know doesn't help but um with the weather I don't have nowhere else to go I sure ain't gonna go out there and try to do hoops and je jumping jacks and uh cartwheels out in the snow so now that the weather is nice and clean and supposedly we're supposed to have 70 tomorrow which would be nice if that be the case um that it's all good so until next week i want you guys and i hope everybody had a good easter um my kids are pretty much over the whole easter thing um as far as like getting into it like a whole big holiday um because they're older you know we don't go and do the baskets and the toys and all the candy and you know the egg or egg hunts egg hunts and whatnot but um we still go and hang out with family so this is a good thing but so i hope everybody's easter was really good and everybody had a pleasant one and a safe one and um didn't eat too much candy i tried to stay away a lot but they still brought home a baggie and they're like oh we ate the ones we want mom so you can have the rest and i'm like give it to your dad i don't <laughs> don't leave it around me give it to your dad but um so until next monday i will talk to you then and have a good one we'll see you then and remember to make sure you appreciate yourself even if nobody else around you does don't listen to them flip them off tell them to read between the lines and step aside because you're moving on because you're way more worth what they're trying to give you they're not worth your time so you are precious, you're beautiful, and you've got to love yourself before anybody else can love you. And until then, next week, I will see you, and hopefully with better results, and maybe I'll have my product. Although they said the 28th to May 5th, so or May, May 1st. 28th to May 1st is my supposed arrival date, so we'll see how soon they get here. Um, but until then, like I said, take care, and hopefully you guys have a good week, because I'm hoping I will, and hopefully I'll get good results and uh, good news. <laughs> so until then, have a good one. Bye.